Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this attempted, and I use the word attempted very lightly review, we're going to be looking at the Studio Zero One. This is their figure called Seed, which is a take, of course, on a Primus uh, Cybertron figure. Now, the reason why I say attempted is for a few reasons. Number one, it's its size. Now, the size is very impressive. Um, I'm going to just very quickly give you an idea of just how big it is. But the other reason, I've got to be super careful with this because, um, and I'll show you why. In fact, I'll even point it out to you. You can see I'm really wary that this guy is going to fall over. Oops, sorry, that's creating... It, to be unable to focus but it does even state here on the and i've got to again say it unfortunately useless instructions can you read there it says some poses may require additional support um, and this is just i found this to be just the case with him standing on a completely flat surface like that he's literally just resting there um but yeah i'm really scared that he's going to fall over now the size is another thing he is a big figure but he is not as big as, I suppose, your standard Titan class figures. There is a Black Zarek, um, which, of course, you can see. Wow, I didn't realise he was that much bigger than him. So Primus, I'm going to keep calling him Primus, by the way, to be honest, is up to just the very sort of top of the chest of uh, Black Zarek, which is, of course, the same height as a Scorpionok figure. Now, um, this is a completely sort of different... It's weird, because although it's smaller... It's more expensive. He's more expensive, but that's because there's a bit more detail gone into him. There's some die-cast parts, but I think with the problem, what they've done is given it some die-cast parts, and it makes it unsteady. Um, they've also, I think, gone perhaps a little bit too complicated, if, if I can say such a thing. I wouldn't say as bad as x -trans bots. Uh, luckily enough, though, I think you can see here that we've got die-cast Inside there, as I say, the metal, I'm sure the hands are die cast because they feel really, really cold to the touch. Now, the articulation is great. Um, and I think what I'm also trying to say as I'm trying to reach around and even get this on camera and see what I'm doing is this is an amazing figure, just mainly sort of for display. And what I mean by that is the transformation process is so insane. Um, I'm going to really, really struggle. See, that's going to fall pretty much near enough by itself. Really struggle to show you how to do it anyway, regarding whether whether or not, so without even trying to do a tutorial. Just getting it to and from each mode takes so, so long. Um, the detail on it, though, I mean, I've got to confess, it's spectacular. It really is good. Um, I didn't have, and I haven't seen in hand, the original um, studio figure, which was, of course, their take on a Unicron, which, again, I've heard was very good, but also quite difficult to transform. Now, I've got all the heel sprues out all at the back. Everything is all there. So, um, I again, it's just, it feels really unstable. I'd be really dubious having this sort of standing um, on a shelf. Again, I've got to confess, I'm not the greatest at, in fact, posing everything. Articulation wise, though, it's it's really good. You can lift this out of the way. The head will come all the way up, spin all the way around. It will look up and down. You can move it up and down. In fact, oh, there you go. It hides away for transformation. Um, also, I wanted to quickly, I suppose, remind people, or if you're new to the channel, I did an actual unboxing video on this figure because there's so many things that come inside the packaging. And again, it wouldn't fit all in the standard review. So in fact, here is the spare I say the spare, the other head, and this is the head with your Alpha Trion in it. And we'll have a quick look at him in a second. So the head, you can change. It is massive. It's got full articulation. The arms, obviously, oh, see, it's scary. It's scary to just turn it around. Now, I think, yeah, mine is getting, see that part there? That part there is getting caught as I spin it back on there. Now, I don't want to force it. It will go out to the side a little bit. It's all on ratchets. The biceps are on ratchets. The hands are on ratchets. The fingers, each one's got articulation right down to the knuckle. So three points of articulation on each finger. The waist does have an ab crunch. There you go. There is, of course, a swivel as well. Oh, it's like a two-part, actually. Look at that. There's a two, there's an upper torso, so the chest and pectoral region. And then you've got the waist as well with a swivel and at the bottom so there's loads going on there fully fully poseable but no good unless you've got a proper stand by the looks of it the hip skirt will come forward i've just realized i'm completely covering everything there kick this leg all the way up and indeed 
pretty much well that lift up yeah all the way back as well this looks to be a swivel let's have a look well, i don't know some guys do this <laughs> sure maybe maybe that's why there's not many reviews of this online move that out the way twist yeah there's a twist at the top of the thigh there's of course a knee bend um, and your feet have got huge tilt rock fold out parts loads of bits you can do so don't get me wrong he's fully posable but i'd be scared leaving this um on a shelf anywhere for exactly them reasons it just you see what i mean it just really doesn't feel safe um i think the haslab unicron to be honest feels safer and that comes with a stand a couple of things i do want to show you as well is if you fold this bit down at the back like so you've got two five millimeter ports there and then if I, I'm really genius, it's just gonna fall. This was, the, I suppose this is the space bridge. This comes in pieces where you clip together. If you want it to be an actual space bridge, you fold this over, just be careful with the clip. And then of course it doubles into the stand um, where you can balance, of course, him in planet mode on. But you can also, due to these tabs there, and this is, maybe this will counterbalance it. So maybe I'm gonna eat my own words now um when i attach this uh that this could be exactly why he is a little bit unstable you never know i say i might completely eat my own words now that might do exactly what i needed it to do so this is why you've probably seen in some of the images that he has got this giant space ring um around him right it sort of has it's it's still not to my liking again i would not leave the room um, without having this rested up, I've had it in the in the process of getting the review done. I've had it resting up against a cabinet. I haven't had the guts to leave it sort of freestanding. To be honest, um, apart from, in fact, yes, I will. I'm going to show you some of the detail. I'm going to pick the camera up and we're going to have a look at some of the detail another way. So this might make it just that bit easier just to give you an idea. As I say, the detail on it is spectacular. Um, I think what I'm trying to get across is this would be... I can't see people playing with it. Don't get me wrong, I don't think everybody plays with their figures anyway. But what I mean by this is I think it would... I genuinely think a lot of people would not even... There's the spike, I attached that in the unboxing video. Would even attempt to transform it because of A, the complexity. B, how useless the instructions are to do it. Um, and yes, the time the time taken. And once you get it there, yeah, it's good that it's, you know, it's Cybertron, etc. But I, what I'm trying to say is I think people will genuinely buy this, keep it in this particular mode and not even attempt to transform him. I'm going to come down. Again, detail is amazing. There's all these little yellow parts which we've got to attach to all the outer shell when we get him into robot mode. Now, I also know that there's some stoppers here or to stop it slipping. So that might actually help. I'll have a go at that in a second, but I still can't see how it would balance it. Yes, it would stop him sliding, but if anything, it would probably make it worse because these are spongy and indeed he would, you know, slip. There's some of the details um, on the legs and around there. So yeah, all these ports here, you can see we're gonna be attaching or you can attach. Uh, the translucent parts to it. I am just very quickly going to stop the camera again and then go and get the original Cybertron Primus to put next to it just to show you how big he is compared to him. So there we go. There he is next to, of course, the figure that he's de definitely based upon. Remember, this guy was absolutely huge at some point um, and he's not now at all. This guy was really, really big. There is Prime, so if we put G1 Prime next to that, about as high as his knee. Yeah, just to I say, just to reiterate what I was saying about these, it does say that they are non-stick mats. My issue isn't with the with it slipping, my issue is with the balance on it. And I think with sponges underneath his feet, it's going to make him even more unstable. But I will have a look at doing it anyway. To be honest, I don't think there's much more to say about the robot mode. It is great. It is very imposing. It looks good. You've just got to get it balancing how you want to. Right, let's attempt to have a look at him in his alternate mode then. Right, so I'm going to be completely honest and I don't really like doing this at all. There's only one other figure in the entire time that I've been doing this that I've that I'm going to do exactly what I'm going to do now, to be honest. And I hate doing this, and I'm ever so sorry. And I know that I'm going to get a load of thumbs down for this. But I have I just haven't got any more time to attempt to get this into robot mode. Um, 
I, I'm making a few excuses, you know, perhaps if I wasn't a family man with three kids, etc., I would dedicate half a day, two days, however long, sitting down with it. I've spent too long on this. I mean, I did the unboxing video um, well over a week or so ago. Um, I've been playing around with it, I've been getting used to it, trying to find, work things out. Um, I've even gone and done what I don't normally do at all. I've watched some tutorial videos, my friend Alpha Primes, got, got a, you know an hour and 20 minute video and I'm still trying to do it following his things and it just isn't going my way. I'm sabotaging my hands up and it's just, it's like the x transbots things. It's just not fun. And I really hate to do this. The only saving grace I've got, and it's a get out of jail for myself, is I only wanted him in robot mode anyway. Um, and as I was sort of saying in the first part of the video, I probably, if I wasn't doing a review, probably wouldn't transform him. I've spoke to a couple of other guys again, um, and I've seen, you know, funnily enough, I've watched a little bit of that Toy Guys video as well. And he's just saying, you know, it just sabotages, just wrecks your hands. Um, but realistically, as I say, you know, if I was a full time reviewer, if it was my job to do it, if I didn't have a normal job and a family, I probably would spend that a little bit longer with it. But I'm just going to have to apologise straight away, guys. Um, just, yeah, it's just not going. And I've got so many of the figures that I want to review, I want to look at. And yeah, I want to move on with things. So unfortunately, I'm not going to get this into planet mode for now. That's not to say never, ever. But at the moment, I've just got way too much going on. I'm going to get him back in robot mode and then just do a little bit of a roundup. So there we go again, just a quick apologies. As I say, only the second figure I've ever actually done this with. Um, I'm not taking, saying that it's not a great figure, as you can clearly see, it does look great. Um, and I'm sure, I well, in fact, I've seen images that it does look great in planet mode. As I say, just for myself, the time it's taking, what I've got going on, etc. I just literally haven't got the time um, anymore, especially when I'm being completely honest, I have no desire uh, to even display him in, in Cybertron mode. It's all about the robot mode for me with this. Um, which again is spectacular. Um, unfortunately, I did do what I didn't want to do. You know, that's why I didn't put all the spikes in at first. Some of these have got bent. Um, it's just, it, it's a good figure. It's really heavy, but it's just another typical, in my opinion, um, third party uh, pain in the bum, which which is just overcomplicated. I know it's got to be quite complicated because of how big it is. Um, and because of, you know, it's going to turn into a planet, but the Haslab Unicron isn't as difficult. I managed to get that from, because that comes in planet mode, obviously, into the robot mode. Maybe going back might be a little bit more difficult. Um, it's still a great figure. It's still going to look great on anybody's shelf. If you've got the Unicron figure, I imagine it's going to look even better um, for me. Yeah, again, just very quick apologies. Great robot mode. Will look great on your shelf. Um, but that's unfortunately all I'm going to be doing um, at the moment with regards to this figure. So just wanted to be brutally honest with you guys. Um, and yeah, that's it. Sorry if I get loads of thumbs down, but that's just the, um, the situation that I'm at with this particular figure. All right. Take care.